Now what I am doing is, I am placing the probe in the epigastric region. This is the xiphoid process, a right subcostal region and this is the left subcostal region. Here I am placing the probe and uh, to see the, and then uh, I am moving the probe downward a little bit. See, placing the probe in the epigastric region, coming down uh, about an, an inch and uh, then angling the probe a bit towards the head of the patient. See, number one here, come down an inch or two, then angle it a little bit if required. That two if required. And then further. Now what is, when you place the probe in the epigastric region and uh, then move it downward if required, then angling a l little bit you will get the pancreas with the splenic vein and when you will angle it a bit more towards the head of the patient you will get the celiac axis, the splenic artery and the common hepatic artery together. Now let's see it on the, uh, 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 on the um, ultrasound uh, machine. Here, now I have placed the probe in the epigastric region. I'm not seeing the pancreas. Now I'm coming down. Here I am, and I am getting the pancreas. And now I'm going to angle it a bit towards the patient's a little bit, not more. And if you get straight away, uh, if you straight away get the uh, splenic vein with the pancreas, it's okay, you all don't have to do anything. But if you require it, then you can angle a little bit towards the uh, head of the patient. Now what we see in this view is, now see, this is the uh, head of the pancreas, this region. This is the body of the pancreas. This is the tail of the pancreas. This is the satanic vein. This is the superior mesenteric vein, and this is the aorta in transverse section. This is the IVC in transverse section. Now, keeping the probe over here, I'm going to uh, move the probe towards the patient's head a little bit. Now I will get both. You see, I get the supplementing artery along with the common hepatic artery. Now, not a good view. This one is a better one. See now, by doing so, this is the body of the pancreas. This is the tail of the pancreas. So this is the uh, aorta. And here you are seeing that this vessel is the artery. This is not the splenic vein. And uh, it's, move, it's running towards the left side. And on the right side, what you are seeing is the common hepatic artery. Both of these vessels, they uh, originate from the celiac axis. Now, in this view, you are seeing this pancreatic tissue and the splenic artery. This is the celiac axis, this is the aorta, and this is the common hepatic uh, artery. This is not the vein. So I was asked to, uh, what I am showing uh, for the beginners on, uh, see, this is a relatively better view, showing you the aorta, this is the celiac uh, axis, hepatic artery, and the common hepatic uh, artery. And uh, here you are seeing Now, one thing more to see. See, this is the uh, body of the pancreas. This is the splenic vein. This is the uh, superior mesenteric vein. This is the superior mesenteric artery uh, having echogenic border in transfer section. And here you are seeing uh, aorta in transfer section. And this vessel is the left uh, renal vein.
because the left, left renal vein uh, runs between the hepatic artery and the aorta. So this is a black and white uh, study of, of what I showed you. And you see that this is the superior mesenteric artery, this is the aorta, this is the left renal vein, and it's crossing between the aorta and superior mesenteric artery, and then it will end into the IVC. So thank you very much.